I would say that when I was in seventh, eighth grade, I started noticing some things emotionally that weren't right. From the ages of nine to the time I graduated high school, there were days that were dark. There, there were days that I could not get out of bed, days I didn't want to get out of bed. Probably days that, yeah, I just didn't want to get out of bed. Feeling very low and helpless or like just wanting to die and, you know, didn't care where I went. Um, wanting life to be over. Really. And I experienced some things and saw some things, even in childhood, but even in adulthood, that I should have never, never, ever gone through. I felt so much shame. You know, feeling like you're, I wasn't, didn't feel like I was worthy enough to pray, read the Bible, listen to praise and worship music because I got to such a low point and nobody knew. I think the last turning point for me um, was I've always had the Bible app. So what I would do is I'd make sure that every day I was getting up, having to walk all the way to the kitchen because I needed to get out of bed. And the first thing that I would do in the morning is put praise and worship music on and I would be in the Word and writing things down. And everything that I needed to hear was right there. There are times I was like, oh my gosh, this was right here all along. I, I should have known better. I grew up in church. My worth began to rise and then wow there is a glow about you I would say my love for God's word is really what keeps me sustains me so that you can know his truth you know we look for everywhere else you could do all the self-help books and all the relationship books all the guide me O thou into my career <laughs> you better get that Bible to know what he says for you I would hate to say that I've been a Christian all these years and had those moments. But I do thank God for His grace and His healing and restoring, and God's Word is what continues to sustain me and keep me.